Okay, so today I'm going to try something new. I got this, um, what is this thing? It's a Metal Earth San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge Rare Earth Edition um, by Fascinations, I think it is. A um, couple dollars at a store, uh, a game store up in Berkeley. And so, what did I pay? Nine dollars for it. Um, I already opened the package and there's this laser cut piece of metal here and some instructions I haven't looked at and it says on the package or on their website that you're going to need needle nose pliers so we'll see how this goes I don't know, let's look at the instructions here of course I'm looking at my left hand oh look at that, one step instructions, how cool is that? I'm kidding um, hmm doesn't look too bad at a uh, cursory view of it, but we'll see how it goes. So it says um, insert tabs, and then um, it looks like you just twist the tabs at 90 degrees. I know this is going in and out of focus for you. There we go. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so first thing I'm noticing here, I'm starting to play with it a little bit. I'm trying to get the pieces off, and maybe it's just because I am really nervous that I don't want to bend them too much. Um, wink, look how much that's bending. Um, it's attached by this little tiny connection right in here, and by darn, that thing's holding pretty well. Oh, there's another one there. Hmm. So maybe, oh, oh, they're using my fingernail, it popped off a little bit. So let's see if I bend it around. Looks like I've already done a little damage to it. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. Okay, there's my first piece. Yeah, a little bent up here in the corner, but hopefully since it's such a light piece of metal, that won't be too bad to try to fix. All right, hmm, let's see if I can get the rest of these out. Okay, I've gotten a few of the pieces out, and so far it hasn't been too bad to get them out. It's just taking them and rocking them a little bit, um, and then they seem to pop out. And so that's the piece that I just took out there. It looks like part of the roadway. So they're not too bad so far. That first one was really nervous, but so far they've been a little better. So I've got most of the pieces out here, and um, when they're coming off, they all seem to have a fairly nice hinge point um, that loosens them, and as long as you bend it on that hinge point, um, they seem to break free fairly easily. Uh, that last one I had worked a little bit, this one I haven't, and so still attached, and... I know I'm kind of doing this weird. Okay, there. It just came off of my hand. So that's one side, and there's the others. I like to keep things kind of organized when I'm building things. So there we go. I kind of like how it looks laid out, that they almost look like that they're drawn. That's kind of cool. Okay, so it looks like our first step is to take pieces one, two, three, and four, all of them, and put them together. And so it looks like um, these are threes, this is our twos, this is, oh yeah, this is one and two, and this is four, and these are our threes. So, and they all just kind of go together, it looks like. We'll see. Okay, so I got my first piece together here. Um, a little nerve-wracking there at the beginning and not sure how I'm going to do this with uh, only one hand and show you but there are these little tabs that you can see here if I can refocus there we go uh, that stick out and then if you look really closely let's see if it'll focus um, if you look really closely well you're gonna have to trust me 
um, on these, there's these little slots that it goes into. And then once it goes through those slots, then you can turn it at a 90 degree angle. So let's see if I can do this. So yeah, it kind of goes through something like that. I think you can see them sticking through. I'm not sure if I made it in or not, but uh, yeah, that's the general idea. Yep, something like that. I think I can lock one in and then show you the other. Okay, so I did. I locked one in. Um, and then this one, just take and you twist this at 90 degrees. And there it seems to hold pretty well. So, yeah, so that's the center expansion. I think I'm going to put the deck on next and then the other end. So let's see how that goes. Okay, it took a little work, but I was able to get the bottom on. I haven't locked it down yet. You can see the tabs sticking out the sides. Um, probably should have put the base on first, but hey, you know, for my first one, not bad. Okay, so I do have the bottom on, and I'm starting to put on the other side, and just having a little issue lining up the slots, but not too bad. And there we go. There's the first section of the uh, expanse, so not too bad. Let's see how it continues. So then the instructions over here are to take, it looks like, the end sides and attach those so um, five and six and seven and connect those to the threes so basically um, it looks like I'm connecting these together with these and then um, the next step will attach them with these to that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and build this step and then continue. Okay, I got one of these edges or sides done, but something that I noticed is this center piece here. Um, not, don't know if we're gonna be able to see it too well, but there's a hero side to it. And uh, yeah, there you can see some of the engravings on this. And then there's a plain side. Um, didn't notice that when I was building this piece here and I ended up putting the hero side here and here however on the inside of the bridge you can see that it's shiny well this next step is going to cap off using these pieces here and you won't be able to see what's facing there so I'm thinking I may <laughs> disassemble this and redo it. Actually, I probably will because that's just how I am sometimes. Weird like that. Okay, so I played with it for a minute and broke off one of the tabs uh, and I couldn't get the other tabs spinned around well enough to remove them and so uh, gonna give up on that. Guess what? It's not gonna be perfect. Oh well, I'm gonna have to live with it. And there we go. Now I've got the two sides together so they're gonna end up going somewhere here and like that and then these will fill those gaps and then these make the bases it looks like so that is my next step is to put the sides and then the bases on so give it a shot okay so I got part of the bridge together um, piecing them together by um, attaching one of these first to one side and then having the other one attached to it seemed to work out pretty good for the first side but then when I flipped it over and did the other side uh, you really have to line up all four tabs at the same time but it wasn't too hard a good sharp needle nose pliers probably would help better uh, mine are not too pointed and so these really last few you know there's two tabs right there at the tip of my finger and uh, they're not very far apart, so it would help if they... Yeah, them sharp is good. Getting the base on here is a little tricky. You have to bend the edges in a little bit, and I would not bend the base until it's on. 
And there we go. All told, took me about a half hour to do. Not too bad. 